clinical research is the foundation of every medical advancement we observe worldwide. The goals of clinical research are to improve human health, prolong life, and reduce the burdens of illness and disability in humans. Thanks to the clinical research, doctors and researchers can better understand diseases. And, with the help of this information, they can able to come up with new and better ways to detect, diagnose, treat, and prevent diseases in humans. Welcome back to the new video on Drug Safety's YouTube channel. Now, coming to the topic of today's video. What is clinical research? Clinical research, in general, is defined as research involving a human subject. It is simply medical research in which human subjects are used to study the effects of new treatments and therapies. You can also refer to it as the study of human health and illness. Clinical research is generally divided into two types. The first type is observational studies and the second type is clinical trials. Let's talk about observational studies first. In observational studies, participants of the study are not subjected to receive any new treatments or experimental procedures. The researchers in observational studies just observe. And based on their observations, they developed a hypothesis. Observational studies can discover associations between things, but cannot prove that one thing causes another. Let's take one example to understand this. Let's assume there are two children in the hospital admitted for fever and chills and they were given two different antibiotic medications as treatment medication and you could observe the duration of their recovery so as a researcher you did not administer any medication to the child but instead you simply observed so in this example you are simply comparing time taken to recover child from fever and chills by using two types of antibiotics Based on the desired end result, the observational studies are further divided into five types which are listed on the screen. Under case study, as the name indicates, it is a study of a detailed medical record of one or more patients. The unusual and new cases were studied by a team of qualified researchers. And the goal of such research is to develop a hypothesis about the causes or risk factors of any disease. In ecological study, researchers compare the rate and frequency of a disease for groups of people. For example, medical record of patients from two or more towns in different climatic conditions was studied for a better understanding of the pathophysiology of any disease. Moving to next type of observational study which is cross-sectional study. In this study, Researchers study a snapshot of many people at one moment in time. Snapshot means researchers collect data from many different individuals at a single point in time. These studies can help to identify how common a condition is and factors associated with that condition. Next type of observational study is case control study. In this study, a group of people who have a similar health conditions are compared against a control group of people who don't have that condition. These studies can help in identifying potential causes or risk factors associated with the disease. The last type of observational study is cohort study. In this study, a large group of people is observed over time. Some people eventually develop a disease or condition. These studies can help to learn how often the condition occurs and also help to find possible causes or risk factors of particular disease. Now coming to the next type of clinical research, which is clinical trials. In clinical trials, researchers do administer a new drug treatments to the subjects enrolled in the study. And the conclusion of clinical trials is derived based on the subject's response to the new treatment. Treatments provided in clinical trials might be new drugs, combinations of existing drugs, new surgical procedures, new devices, or it can also be a new ways to use existing treatments. Clinical trials are also further divided into five types based on the 
desired end result of the trials. The five types of clinical trials are listed on the screen. Let's talk about them one by one. Number one, diagnostic trials. Researchers conduct diagnostic trials to develop better laboratory tests or surgical procedures which help in diagnosing a specific disease or condition. Number two, natural history studies. These studies provide important information about how disease and health progress. In prevention trials, researchers look for better ways to prevent a disease in people who have never had the disease or to prevent the disease from returning in people who have already recovered from the disease. In quality of life trials, researchers explore and measure ways to improve the comfort and quality of life of people with a chronic illness. In screening trials, researchers test the best way to detect specific diseases or health conditions. In treatment trials, researchers test new treatments, new combinations of drugs, or new approaches of surgery, or radiation therapy. So these are the six broad types of clinical trials. Please keep in mind that all clinical trials are conducted in phases. Each phase of clinical trials has a different purpose and each phase helps researchers in answering different questions. You can check the video which will be displayed on the screen anytime from now to know more about the clinical trial phases. Hope you will like and share this video created by Drug Safety YouTube channel's creators. And we will meet you in another amazing video.